welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be uh, doing an unboxing of the Lucas ink, ink bag system. And I'm going to show you guys how to fill up these uh, ink bags. So you can put your own ink in there or get them pre-filled with the, uh, the Lucas inks already in them. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get right into it. Here is the ink bag system. Alrighty, so you'll have your 11 ink cartridges. There's 10 in here right now. Okay, your 11th one is right here. You will also be getting um, your five syringes. Okay, five syringes. You'll have six filler tips and you'll have 11 of these ink bags, okay? So we're gonna show you how to fill these ink bags and get it ready to put ink inside, all right? So first thing we're gonna do is pop open this cartridge, all right? So all you'll need is a flathead screwdriver. Just go ahead and pop that off. It's super easy. All right, there is a notch here, right there. There's two along the side and one on this side. So we'll just take a flathead screwdriver, put it in that notch and twist. Okay, go down a little bit, twist. And keep going down, twist. Go to this side, twist, twist. It's almost open. In that notch, twist. Go down, twist, twist. And we've got it open, okay? There we go. So, make some space. Put the chip there. All right. So, now we're going to be filling the ink bag. This is the ink bag. You got 11 of these guys. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Just take your syringe. And with one of these six filler tips that you got in this bag, take one out. Okay. Put it onto the syringe. I'm not gonna be actually filling this one, but I'll show you the process, okay? So you fill up, this syringe is 20 milliliters. This bag is 220, same as the OEM, okay? I usually like to put 230 in there, okay? And I'll explain at the end why we're doing that. Okay, so we fill this up with ink, measure it out, okay? So it's 200, uh, that's 20. So you stick it in the top of the ink bag, push it in and go ahead and put in your ink. All right. Just keep repeating that process. You're always more than welcome to get a bigger syringe. So you don't have to do this so many times, you know, um, but this is just what comes with the kit. Okay. So you'll just fill this up. Okay. Until you get to your 230 milliliter mark. Okay. And what I like to do is get all the air out of the bag. So that's why we put in 230, all right? So we're gonna stand this up so all the air goes up, all right? And you stick the syringe in and you draw out 10 milliliters of fluid. What that'll also drag out is the air that's in this bag, okay? So it's only liquid in this bag, whether it be ink or piezo flush, you know, that's what you're gonna have in there. This bag is gonna be a little bit bigger than this. This is obviously just probably, I only did that two or two and a half times, so it's not enough, but you go ahead and fill this up. Okay, put it into the cartridge. Okay, this corner, fold it in. All right, and go ahead and make sure it's seated correctly right there. There's a perfect spot for it, so you can't mess that up. Close the cartridge up. Okay, closed. Make sure it's closed. Okay, and put your chip back on. All right, and always remember to reset the chip because since this is 200 milli 220 milliliters, it will read on your printer. You will know how much ink you have in here and the printer will tell you. Just don't let it get too low. Don't let it get past 15% or else this chip is no good anymore, all right? So just reset this. Make sure it turns green. Green means good, all right? So why are we doing this? It's because we're printing so much with a DTF um, and we're laying down so much ink that you need to have an ink bag system so it does not cause any problems or hiccups while you're printing. Um, some people may have problems of like when the printing and your 
ink falls off, meaning like it starts printing and suddenly there's no more white, you know? And that's gonna cause you big headaches. You're just gonna have problems and you'd have to either do a ink charge and waste more ink just to get it back, you know? And you've already, you know, stalled a lot of time and you've lost time in having to reset, start and, you know, get everything done. But, you know, this is one of the reasons why we use Lucas inks because it's a really, really, really good ink. Um, I've never seen any problems with clogging or anything. And, you know, really, I can leave it for, you know, five to seven days without even printing and just do a simple cleaning and I'm back and running. You know, so I've never really had a problem with any of these inks. And just look at these colors. Just look at these colors. You know, this is the back. And it's been, this has been cured already, you know? And they leave super vibrant, super, super vibrant colors, all right? So the reason why we're doing this is, you know, one, you won't have any more problems, okay? With ink starvation, uh, hurting the machine. If your machine is printing and it ink starves and it's not printing an ink and it's just blank, What's, what do you think that's gonna do to your print head? It's gonna, draw, it's gonna burn out your print head and you're gonna have to buy a new print head, okay? So stop doing that to yourself, you know, and have a problem-free print. So if you guys have any questions or anything, go ahead and leave a, a comment. Um, but remember to comment, like, and subscribe so you can see more content like this. Uh, I will be leaving a link at the bottom for where you can purchase this kit for the P5000. Uh, we will be releasing the uh, 4900 unit very soon and quite possibly uh, kits for the 4000, 4400, 4800, and the 4880. So like we said, we're starting off with the P5000 and if you have any questions, just go ahead and uh, you know shoot us an email. You can go to our website. We can also talk, uh, we have a live chat through our website. And uh, we'll be leaving a link for our Facebook page for all the large format Epson printers for DTF uh, and just printers in general. So if you have any questions, go ahead and add us, add us on Facebook or you know, send us an email. All right, you guys have a good one and keep printing.